Okay, we're back with uh, part two of the visual web developer uh, series. Uh, uh, this is the fifth uh, tutorial in the series, um, and this is part two of customizing templates, learning how to customize uh, templates. I am Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere and the RIA Institute. And let's go back into what we saw in the last uh, vi video tutorial, which was uh, we had this. Um, uh, template that we customized from the Lightbox website and I actually uh, redid the pictures and as you can see they're regular size now um, 100 uh, degrees and I mean uh, 100 uh, pixels in length and 70 uh, in width and 75 in height and uh, if we click on them we get the Think Big Act Now truck and we get the Think Big Trunk 2. Um, and the thumbnails are the links. So if we go in and we look at Visual Studio, the thumbnails are these right here, uh, these uh, these images right here in between the anchor tag. So um, let me zoom in for you so you can see. Um, they're in between the anchor, anchor tag right here. The, these uh, two thumbnails, the thumbnail one and thumbnail two, those are the ones that we see on the web page right here so this is thumbnail one and this is thumbnail two so if we uh now they link to image one and image two and image one and image two are the two bigger images that appear in the light boxes so um there we go so how did we do that what we do let's zoom in so at fr so first what we have is the anchor tag which is the a tag and then we have the the URL or the image that we're linking to the uh, hyperlink reference then we are relating this to the light box which is this JavaScript file right here so um, it's being uh, uh, related uh, or you can call it it's a relationship attribute to this to this JavaScript uh, 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 tag and basically that's it now if we wanted to um, to group these together, what we could do is we can put two brackets here and say you could put anywhere. We can just say group. Go right here and not curly braces brackets. They're brackets, not curly braces. And then put group and control. And we go ahead and save it. And we go ahead and refresh the page. And this is what happens after we refresh the page. We go ahead and uh, open it up. And over here, we have a next button. If we zoom in, we have a next button. And then we have a back button or a previous button. So see, when we group them, you know, the code, the JavaScript code is already back. So we don't have to click in and click out. You know, we can, so you can create your own, uh, you know, for your clients, you can create your own uh, video uh, photo gallery just using the light box. So um, that's good to see. Let's go back into Visual Studio. And the key thing that we want to get out of this is to understand uh, that you know uh, editing templates doesn't have to be that hard um, you know uh, what we also can do is if we uh, erase all this what you can do is uh, you can go up here and uh, we can save this solution and uh, we can close out of it then what you can do is you can go to the folder that the solution is in um, which is the JavaScript library that we had uh, called prototype and uh, what we can do is we can get rid of all of uh, get rid of these pictures delete that remember we downloaded this from uh, Lightbox and uh, go click out of it and what we can do is we can zip this file
copy or you can either cut it or copy cut the zip file and then what we can do is we can go to Visual Studio into the Visual Studio folders and we can go into uh, my exported templates not no I'm sorry not my exported story we can go into templates and we can put it in project templates so uh, what we can go ahead and do is just paste it into the project template Bam. If we close and open up Visual Studio again, and we go ahead and open up a new website. I'm sorry, not a new website, a new project. I put it in the project templates. New project. Under C Sharp, we should have a project template for the Visual Studio project. Okay, um, that method didn't work. Um, so let's go ahead and reopen up the solution that we just had, which is the Lightbox uh, to um, the Lightbox uh, JS test page. The other way we can make this as a template is we can go to here to export templates and we can make this a project template uh, Lightbox 2.40 um, we can put it as a Visual C Sharp um, uh, template and then what we can do is we can give it a little icon uh, let's find an icon right quick uh, boop, 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 boop. Uh, give it a quick icon of uh, let's say this right here and then what we can do is we can call it lightbox 2.40 and we can say this this is a light box project and we want to say we want Visual Studio to automatically import it and we want to display the Explorer window um, and then click finish and there it is it's in the my exported templates that's how it got into my exported templates I'm sorry alright and so if we close out of this real quick and we reopen Visual Studio we close this current solution and we go to new project under the C-sharp uh, dialog uh, you will see um, bu -bu -bu -bu. you should see Lightbox 2.0 um, but we're not seeing Lightbox 2.0 for some reason Okay, it is in Visual Studio instead of uh, well, if you if you have Visual Web Developer, this is even better. Um, under Website, uh, it's My Templates Lightbox 2.0. So um, you can put it as a Visual Basic site or or C Sharp, which doesn't matter. Um, but here it is, Lightbox 2.40. If we click on that and we open up the Solution Explorer, it already populates the folders that we need, the images for the light box, and the JavaScript file. So that's the reason why you want to go ahead and, you know, um, create project templates in Visual Studio. Uh, so uh, again, th thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.